hey, you know that scene where a character is dying, but they have some secret and the other characters who are surrounding them need to know the secret? The last words on the lips of the dying character is what everybody, including the audience, needs to know. Well, that's what I call the dying informer cliche. We're going to take a hard look at that coming up next. <laughs> Alright, so Yoda in Return of the Jedi is just about ready to die. But very conveniently, on his deathbed, he's able to talk and talk and talk to Luke Skywalker. And he's able to reveal a key secret just seconds before he dies. Star Wars is high melodrama, and it uses some very old and interesting cliches. And this cliche it's using here with the Yoda deathbed scene is one of my favorites, the dying informer cliche. I call it the dying informer cliche because as a character is dying, he or she has enough time to reveal all the secrets that not only the characters need to know, but you, the audience, need to know in order to understand the movie. If you've seen any number of movies, you've definitely seen this kind of scene before. And that's what makes it a cliche. It's been used hundreds and hundreds of times by writers and screenwriters. Luke. Yeah. Now, by calling it a cliche, I don't mean to say it's always bad. Calling something a cliche just means that it's used a lot or even overused. And on the one hand, as with Return of the Jedi, it can be kind of fun and very dramatic. But on the other hand, of course, if you're looking for realism, it's pretty annoying. Because most people on their deathbeds, actually really all people on their deathbeds, don't die while revealing secrets to family members. It's a very rare occurrence that when people in their lives die, they divulge key information as they are dying. But in movies, well, this happens a lot. Now all the movies in this video I actually like, so I don't mean to say that by them using cliches, they're necessarily bad movies. I do think that screenwriters and writers in general can find more interesting ways to divulge key information that they need to tell the audience than through a character dying on his or her deathbed. So let's take a look and see how the dying informer cliche works itself out in several movies. Oh, I will kill you! I played out! I need a doctor! We met Ned and Hayes two days ago. First here is one from the 2010 movie True Grit by the Coen Brothers. Oh Lord, I'm dying. Do something. Help me. Now as this character dies, he reveals a key secret to the three main characters who need to know where the bad guy is. You tell me about Ned, where'd you see him? Two days ago, Bagby's store. They are going here tonight to get free mounts in Zofki. I like the Coen Brothers. I like True Grit. This comes from the great novel by Charles Portis, and this scene is in that novel. And it comes from a typical Western plot. But this is a kind of cliched scene you see a lot where a minor character is dying, and yet he or she is able, right on their dying breaths, to divulge key information. Now, fascinatingly, one of the greatest movies ever made, according to critics and directors, Citizen Kane, actually uses this cliche. In fact, the whole movie is generated by this cliche as the key character character Charles Foster Kane on his deathbed says the word rosebud. rosebud. He's able to say this word rosebud and thus begins the hunt to find out what that word means. Funny thing about Citizen Kane is it's playing with the cliche. Maybe the word rosebud means something or maybe it actually means nothing. Here's a variation on the cliche from the 1979 movie Alien in which the characters on a spaceship are able to bring back to life an android who knows key information about the alien they've captured and the corporation who wants them to bring the alien back. Yes, I can hear you. What was your special order? Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here's a case where the dying informer is a villain who gets to laugh at and mock the characters as he divulges key information they need to know. There's got to be a way of killing it. How? How do we do it? You can't. Ooh. Is there any ceremony or anything? Now here's a fun one from the movie Joe vs. the Volcano starring Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. In this movie, the Tom Hanks character is going to go jump in a volcano. He's been paid to do so because he thinks he's dying of brain fog. He's actually been tricked into jumping into the volcano, but nevertheless, he thinks he's dying. And the Meg Ryan character is going to interrupt him and say something she's aimed to say for a long time. You love me? Yes, I love you. I can feel my heart. I feel like I'm going crazy. You just can't die and leave me here on the stinking earth without you. Now here's a word on cliches. Sometimes they're used for good purposes. In the case of True Grit earlier, the main character is a 15-year-old girl who needs to see death happen. And for her to witness a dying character is a momentous life event. Here in the case of Joe vs. Volcano, the movie knows it's using the cliche and is having a tremendous amount of fun with it. I love you. I love you too. I've never been in love with anybody before either. It's great. I am glad. <laughs> but the timing stinks. You can see Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks ham up this scene a lot. They know they're in a screwball comedy. The movie knows it's kind of a screwball comedy. And so it has a lot of fun with what it knows is a cliche. That's where I think movies, knowing they're using cliches, is actually pretty interesting. They get to play around with what's common in other movies or stories. And occasionally you'll see a comedy movie, maybe something like Austin Powers, have a ton of fun with common cliches like the dying informer cliche. The last movie I'm gonna show you is a classic. Lots of people love it, and here you get the dying speech of an android, a speech beloved by movie lovers. And in a way, this is a cliche because he gets to say the greatest words of his life just as his life ends. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I think Western art in general has praised this kind of cliche forever because it has such great impact. The idea that the final words we speak before our life ends is an important one to us. It's telling us in these stories that the last words we say have meaning and purpose and that our words will live on forever in the hearts and minds of other characters. Our final words will affect the actions of others and the outcomes of future stories. So as highly dramatic as it is and as highly cliched as it is, I think the dying informer cliche, because it's so momentous and profound to us, will probably keep going forever. <laughs>